Do you really know how to use the RGB tone curves in Lightroom? Well, today we're gonna find out. Hello, and welcome to day seven of editing with Cassidy. In day one of my editing series, I showed you how to use the tone curve. However, we didn't touch the hardest tone curves of all, which are the RGB curves. So today I'm gonna show you how to understand them and it's gonna be easier than you think, okay? But if you haven't watched video one, go back to that and then come back here. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So in my video, I already have the linear curve set, but now we've got the RGB tone curves to cover. So you know how the linear curve covers the brightness or darkness of the blacks in the photo, the whites of the photo, the highlights, the shadows. Think of the RGB curves the exact same way, but instead of brightness or darkness, you can add a specific color to the highlights, the whites, the blacks of the photo. So we've got the red curve, which you can add reds or teals. The green curve, you can add greens or magentas. And then the blue curve, you can add blues or yellows. So I'm going to start in the red curve and I'm going to make a couple points on this curve. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom section, which is the blacks and the shadows and I'm gonna drag it up towards red. And what this does is it adds reds to my blacks in the shadows. So you can see that happening in the photo. Same on the other side. If I were to drag the top two points up, which are my whites and my highlights and drag it towards red, I'm adding red to those specific areas. Now, a common rule of thumb is what you do to one of these curves you wanna do to all of them. But it's important to note that they don't just cancel each other out. The RGB curves change micro contrast and color density. So it's not cancellation, it's channel weighting. So something that's really nice about these curves is you can just copy these settings and I'm going to paste them to my green and blue curves. And what you'll notice is now my photo looks completely different. We've got lots of contrast in there. The colors really pop. So I find that these curves add a lot of richness to the colors in your image. Another thing that I really like to do with these curves, because a little bit more of a filmy edit is in right now, I like to add greens to my blacks and my shadows in the green color curve. So I'm going to go to the green channel. I'm going to target specifically my blacks and shadows, which is going to be that lower section of the curve. And I'm just going to drag that point up. So what you'll notice is I'm getting a slight green tint in those blacks and shadows. You do wanna be careful with these curves though, because if you start to tweak one curve too much, you're gonna get a hint of a color maybe in a place you don't want to. These curves are super important though, so make sure when you're making your next preset to give it a try. All right, bye guys.